Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Before the video starts, I would like to thank everyone for over 200 subs. I did not expect to reach 200 so soon when I originally got to 100, and it hasn't even been over a year since then. Anyway, since we're now at 203 subs at the time of writing the script, we're only 97 away from 300. I expect to reach 300 in less than 7 months, maybe 4 or 5, and according to Social Blade, we'll be at 300 in about 5 months, but I think we can do better. Anyway, let's get into the video now. So this video is going to be on how to have a productive workspace so that you can stay focused. Your workspace is basically where you work, so it could be your desk, a random table somewhere in your house, the dining table, or maybe your bed, although I do not recommend it at all. So the best way to create a good workspace is to make sure that it's dedicated to working. If you do this, your mind will automatically get ready to work when you're in that workspace. Your workspace should also have natural lighting if possible. Natural lighting has health benefits such as helping you to sleep, improving your mood, and benefiting eyesight, but also increases productivity. If you're working at night or you don't have access to natural lighting, make sure that your workspace is lit up so that there's less strain on your eyes. It's also a good idea to have more yellow light so that there's less blue light going into your eyes, and if you cannot do that, I recommend having blue light glasses or some sort of blue light blocker. The next tip is to take advantage of vertical storage space. If you use vertical storage space, it will be much easier to take things out than if you just had them on their side. The goal here is to make it easier for you to get things out such as textbooks, papers, binders, notes, or books when you need them. Since almost everyone likes or would like to take the easy way out of things, this is definitely made much easier for me to work at my desk. Along with that, you want to make sure that you have everything you need within your arm's reach. But make sure that the things you have within arm's reach will help you with studying or doing your work. For example, it wouldn't be that great if you had your phone within arm's reach because it means that you can just pick it up and get distracted. Things that I would keep near me are a to-do list, a pin, all my various other pins, some simple stationery like a ruler, stapler, and a tape dispenser. Another thing that's important and adds on to the things from before is to have a clean workspace. Having visual clutter takes up space in your mind and allows your mind to get distracted way more easily. So make sure your workspace is free of clutter and has no distractions on it. You probably don't need a random post-it note or trash on your desk, so make sure to throw them away or put them somewhere else. Something you do need though is a water bottle or a cup with water inside or just water in general. I don't care if you have a bowl of water, but have water that you can drink from. Keeping hydrated allows you to work better than if you're dehydrated, so if you want to get your work done quicker and more efficient, I recommend having a water bottle nearby with water. The last tip is to control the noise in your study space. If you like to work in silence, try to make your workspace as quiet as possible. For me, I like to work with some background music that allows me to focus, so I put on my focus playlist while I do work. I'll put a link to my playlist in the description of the video. If there's a lot of noise coming from outside your work area that are distracting you, you can try noise-canceling earbuds or headphones. I personally do not own a pair of noise-canceling earbuds, but if you do, please tell me in the comments how good they work for you. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like it and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every source that I use in this video will be linked in the description, so if you want to check them out, you can. Thank you guys for getting me to 200 subscribers, and I'll try to continue to get out videos every week, but lately school has been a lot more stressful than anticipated, although I know that this schoolwork doesn't even compare to the amount of homework I'm going to get next year, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!